Gaffer, it was back to work today. Obviously, as a manager, you don't really get much time off. Football's a 24-7 business, but you got a bit of time off over the summer. How important was it to, to have that break and, and refresh ahead of the start? Yeah, it's always important to, to have a break. You know, it's an intense industry that we work in. Um, I had a fantastic holiday with my partner in Malta for 10 days, but you're right, Gareth, in that 10 days, it, it's, not a, it's not a holiday. You know, you're always working trying to get stuff sorted, but yeah, it was good to just get away and have a nice time in Malta, relax, refresh and, and be ready to come back in today. Yeah, first session today, are you happy with how it went and how the players got through it? Yeah, like I said, the first day is always tough, you know, players like know what to expect nowadays um, with the yo-yo test and some testing, um, but no, listen, delighted just to see the, the faces and obviously integrate the new players that we've, we've already brought to the club. And of course, pre-season, it doesn't really just start today, does it? The players have had their own individual training plans. How important is it that they've got that preparation ahead of returning today? Yeah, I think the the modern day player, they know themselves that they have to be fit and, and ready when they, they come back on the first day. But I think the professionalism in the game nowadays, certainly in players, has, has got a lot better. And players like to look after themselves through the close season. And, and it's important that they get the plan just to follow. Um, but generally... Every player nowadays looks after sale anyway, so it's not it was like it was back in the day when when I was um, doing pre-season, it'd maybe take you seven or eight weeks. Players are now, like I say, they keep themselves in top condition, so it's an easy transition after the, coming back from the break. There's been a number of strong additions to the squad and a number of key contract extensions as well. How happy are you with the business that's been done, especially following some key losses over the summer? Yeah, I think in, in any season there's always going to be key losses, you know. Um, players nowadays are, are, are looking to try and get the best for them and their families and I don't grudge anybody you know obviously the players that we've lost I'm disappointed that I've lost them but unfortunately that's football it's just the nature of the game um, everybody's trying to get extra few pounds in their pockets and like I say, obviously, from our point of view as a club and as the manager of the, as, of, of the club, I'm, d I'm disappointed to lose them. Um, but it gave us up another opportunity to bring in other players and, and we've, we've done that. You know, we've recruited four already. Um, there'll be more on the way. Um, delighted to get Cami, Lamar, Jordan and, and Owen in the building. Um, but there'll be, there'll be um, other key um, players brought to the club to, to help us go forward this season. And I suppose it's the same in terms of the new additions as well. You know, you've a bit of a mix there. Two players that have got good championship experience and two players coming in for their first taste of this, this league. You know, is it important to have that mix? Yeah, I think it is. You know, Cammy's a proven player at this level. Um, he's had a couple of great seasons at, at uh, Mairdry. And that's the type of players I'm looking to bring to the club. You know, born winners. Cammy last season had a great season, um, won the SPFL Trust Trophy with Ferdry and got to the playoffs. Um, young Owens obviously had a great upbringing, coming out of Celtic, um, got a move down to Blackpool, um, had a good loan spell last season at Dunfermline. Unfortunately, whatever's went on has not really worked for him at Blackpool and he's and we're just delighted to have him. Um, and then Lamar and, and Jordan have, they've played it. Uh, down in England and Wales respectively um, and we like what we saw so yeah we're giving them a platform here to hopefully come and build and, and make a strong case next season to be in the team and playing and, and hopefully they can help us with goals and help us get up into the higher reaches of the league next season. And four pre-season fixtures to come all at home are in for Derby and, and then as well. Do you hope that having that that ability to play all of them at home will help them familiarise the, the new players a, a bit quicker? Nah, the, the thought process behind the friendly this season is in the time I've been at Morton, all the friendlies have been away from home. So I think this season it was it was key to try and get um, some games at home. And, and thankfully the, the general manager, Dale, and, and the board have, have backed me on that. You know, the last, I'm not saying that's why they both had the starts we've had in, in the league, um, but certainly playing at home will give the newer players that benefit of fitting into the to the surroundings pretty more quickly than normal and hopefully that'll make them settle quicker. And of course the League Cup was drawn over the summer as well. What was your first reaction to it and I suppose in terms of last season as well, are you hoping to maybe try and replicate that success? Yeah, that's always the aim. You always want to be better than you were last season. Um, you always know that you're going to get a Premier League team as well this season. We've got St Johnston. Um, 
last season it was uh, Ross County away and the season before that it was away to Hibs. So yeah, we always know it's got to be difficult against these clubs because the, the, the finances that they can have. But it doesn't mean that we don't go and try and beat them. We want to win every game here. That's the mindset, that's uh, the mentality, we want to win every game. We know that they're not always as easy as they come, but we'll certainly give it our best, our best opportunity. Um, but again, we want to get through the group stages and that's the aim. The, um, you know, we've got tough games, East Fife will be a tough game, um, especially having Dick and Ian there, it'll be, it'll be nice to see them again. Um, and Alawa and Brecon are tough games, I'm going to go and watch Brecon on Saturday, they played Dundee United, um, so I'll go and get a, a, a look at them. Um, so yeah, it never, it never stops, Gareth. You know, you're always out trying to see what's what's out there and, and watching games. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be up watching Breaking on Saturday against Dundee United. And heading into the league campaign as well, of course, coming off a consecutive fifth place finish and a season that had that amazing unbeaten run as well. You know, what what are your thoughts going into it ahead of potentially one of the you know the most challenging championship seasons in recent years? Well, firstly, I think for this season, there's not one outstanding candidate that will be a firm favourite to win the league. No disrespect to anybody else in the division. You don't have, like I say, Dundee United or a Hibs or a Hearts or even a Rangers in the, the last few years um, that everybody was backing their money on to go and win the league because of the finances that they carry. Um, but certainly it's an open field this season. Again, there'll be a league that everybody's capable of beating everyone. And it'll, again, it'll be who can put a consecutive run of games together and get gaps. Um, who will go on and have a successful season. Um, but certainly I think it'll be a, a really competitive league, a, a league that everybody will enjoy watching again. And you see with the numbers that came out a week or two ago regarding the attendances and, and the um, spectators watching on the TV. So the, the league's getting exposure and that can only benefit everybody else. Um, certainly the, the clubs that are in the championship this season that hopefully we get more people coming to games and more people coming to watch.